Hi, um, my name is Ben and I recently moved to Japan. It is currently day three and I've gotten a bunch of the Japan legal residency student stuff out of the way and today we have a free day. So I think me and Will are gonna go to Chinatown in Yokohama and see what that's all about. Um, so join me, please. Can you guys see how, how absurdly humid it is out here? Oh my god! Welcome to humid summer Japan. It is so humid out here. Look at this lens. Look at this. Hey, that's a nice shirt you got there. Oh yeah. You like it? Dude, I love it. It's so comfortable too. All right, gang, we've made it to Yokohama. We're heading into Chinatown. One of the super cool bridge water feature. We're looking for some, we gotta get some tashu bao, <laughs> some, some bao, some dumplings. Explored Chinatown. It was sick. Shout out bao. Ten yeah. out of ten. I got some I got some like pork bao or maybe I mean it might have been beef actually. Dude, now we're down by like the Yokohama Bay area. We saw shark shark soup. Yeah, shark soup. Shark soup. Yeah, yeah comment video, uh, shark shark soup review. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Food video, that'd be crazy. <laughs> yeah, now we're just gonna walk around the bay some more. And then right over there you can see the sky tree, like super far in the distance. Got the police. That's cool. All right, we've wandered into the uh, red brick building in Yokohama, which is like a historical building where the boats would come in, drop off all the goods, and then they'd store it in here. This place is built like a bomb shelter, like with like giant thick metal doors and everything. And it's just filled with like food and restaurants now. It's wild. Yeah. What? Like, have you ever been to like Fort Warden or Fort Casey or something? Uh, no. No, he probably knows why it was designed to look like that and everything. Like, I could play the Oh, oh, cinematic and she know. Oh, oh, she could probably cast whoever. Give me the little one last together. We're in Cosmo World now in Yokohama. Point the camera that way. Yeah, so. That's what you guys have probably seen before, but this whole like little area and then this little island is something I haven't seen before for sure. It's like a mini little yeah. carnival area. All for like kids and stuff. Hey, look at this area. Gondola, all these amusement park rides. This whole time we've kind of been heading in the direction of this big old boat right here. We weren't convinced it was an actual boat because we could only see just the, uh, the top masts but it looks like it can actually go. I think there's a drawbridge right there. That's crazy though. This is where you board? This is a museum, it says. Port what museum. Is a museum. Port museum. Crazy. This, it looks exactly like the one, the one right there. Yeah. I wonder if there was a boat in here at some point and then they built all this around it. I mean, Maybe that's a that's, boat, boat hole. This or, is like the old one, that's the new one over there. Yeah, that's crazy. Crushed. Crushed our lunch. We're gonna keep walking, probably make it to the Nissan HQ, check that area out, and then start making our way back. But that was our that was our Yokohama experience. It was cool. A plus. A plus for real. Yeah. Okay, absolutely crushed lunch. Now we're gonna work our way to the Nissan HQ, check out some cars there, and then head back to uh, the dorm. Look at this place. This place is crazy. We're in Yokohama still. Okay guys, we've made it to the Nissan HQ in Yokohama and there's some seriously cool stuff in here. We have a Formula E car over here. Um, on, looks like an R35 GTR with no like chassis or anything. Super cool. 400Z. Yeah, new 400Z, the fair lady.
super cool. Super cool. Super, super cool. <laughs> That's so cool. I have nothing else to say. I don't know, just listen. Look at this blue interior on this R35. That's so cool. Crazy. What a wild interior. Yeah, you look good. You should get one. I wish. Oh, it is notchy. It feels like... <laughs> it doesn't feel like a short throw, but it feels like... Like a half short throw. Yeah. <laughs> Super cool. That's so sick. And the clutch is so like... You can really feel like where it connects. <laughs> That's so cool, bro. They've got like an open view of the turbos here, so you can see the compressor housing. Whoa, that's the turbo right there? Yeah. What the heck? So I think these have to be air to water intercoolers because they're so small. That's my guess. Air to water? Yeah. Because the other one was like air to air. Yeah. These ones are super tiny and on Dude, top. I love how everything is just clear, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, Colto gave me yeah, a yeah. model, yeah. The two-tone seafoam green. Dude, I love how big it is, bro. It's a huge model, yeah. <laughs> and then they also have basically like every every Nissan over here. All the way from Datsun. 1933. So much stuff. Cool. Yeah, here's like 240Zs. Green Skyline Deluxe. Skylines. HR31, this is the one that was parked next to our house in Hachioji. Oh, H really? HR31, yeah. Gen 3 Sakura livery. So cool. I have nothing else to say other than that it's super sick. Full carbon fiber, uh, everything. Carbon fiber everything. Regeneration systems recover 40%. Musashi Kosugi Station. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Back to the teleportation. Yeah, teleportation. <laughs> and train system. We are back in Kawasaki, home sweet home, walking across the train tracks right now. Uh, it is such a cool feeling, like walking across these tracks, especially like four tracks deep, and you can look down and see the trains waiting at the stations. Can we? We can cut through somewhere over here. This is a little, little path. Yeah. Okay, everybody, we are back in the dorm. That was our little excursion to Yokohama and Chinatown, as well as the greater Yokohama area. Uh, super awesome, amazing area. I think it kind of gets overlooked when people are coming to Japan. It's the whole Yokohama like bay area and everything, but phenomenal area. I know that these vlogs have kind of been all over the place, and I apologize for that. It's still like my first week here after like settling in and doing all my paperwork and like adjusting to like just living here now but trust me the vlogs will get much more focused and centered on specific ideas and they'll be filmed better with more intent so if you guys enjoyed watching me run around japan make sure to like subscribe follow leave a comment everything that's about i got for you guys today peace